Hey guys, so I got this Asus monitor that's been acting up on me lately. Once in a while, in a, out of blue moon, it would either the menu will pop up or the contrast will just go up and stay there on right on the screen of the menu. And as I was playing around with it, I determined that it's the buttons that are getting stuck. There's actually something wrong with it. That self adjustment buttons are not touched. When the, this happens to your monitor, that means this one of the switches is going bad. So if you have that issue where the buttons are getting random menus popping up on the screen, there's a few things you can do. One, you can locate your model number of your monitor and actually order an entire assembly, which would be the entire button, which usually are replaceable. Two, if you can locate the part number, one is to take it apart, look at what kind of switch it uses and order one and resolder it. This is more harder, however, it's a possibility. And the third option, if you can't find the part and you don't know how to solder and the buttons are not essential, what you can do is actually remove the panel and remove the button by itself by cutting off the contacts. This will disable the contact so you will no longer be able to use that particular button. However, if that button is making you setting up the menu or changing contrast or volume or whatever, it will allow you to use the monitor once again. So the quick fix was just to unplug it for a little bit and then plug it back in and things would return to normal. However, after a certain time, you know, an hour or two, the menu will come back up and just start displaying at random. And of course, when you try to turn it off or anything else or the monitor would freeze, nothing will happen. So today I'm gonna to address it how to fix it. And unfortunately, to fix this monitor, we have to take it apart. Since the panel is good, and that's the most important part of our LCD screen, is it's fixable. Everything else is fairly cheap and should be accessible. So first thing you'll notice is that when you flip the monitor, there are plenty of holes, but none of them actually have any screws in them. And that's because the screws are hidden and most of it is just popping, snap in place. But as you see here in the bottom here, it's actually a cover. And this is so we can remove the base. Let me see if I can pull this off without breaking it. Right, this snaps out out. In here we have some screws that we're gonna need to unscrew. This will unscrew our base. And of course, this is the model uh, VW266H that I'm working on. So from this point on, we're gonna need to pry it open. And of course, to do that, we're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. So there's actually on the bottom of this piece, you see there's a little two notches. This is where we can uh, insert our screwdriver so we can notch it up and begin prying. So I would really suggest that you don't try to resolder the contact. Um, one thing some people will do is put them in uh, oil. That will help a little, but uh, that's only a temporary fix. Ideally, you want to replace them with the switch. Uh, but of course, that requires skill with soldering iron and everything else. I would really suggest that you actually try to replace the entire part. And of course, the only time you would want to even consider replacing a switch by itself is if you have experience and also if the part for your monitor is not available. Uh, but otherwise, if, it's, if you can find it anywhere on eBay, Amazon, I would definitely jump on it and replace the, the switch in the entirety versus replacing just individual switches. As there is a lot of time consuming, there is possibility that you'll break something and doesn't necessarily mean that you will fix it. So the first thing I did was to resolder a brand new push button into the circuit. However, it worked for a few months and then another button started acting up. So the best solution to the problem, especially if your monitor is old, is to set up all your settings using the buttons that actually still work and then turn it off, take it apart and disconnect the entire switch. So this actually did do that trick. 
I was able to reconnect the power and the monitor powers on without an issue and no more random menus on the screen. This might be the easiest and cheapest solutions available. Or if you have time and you want to play around, you can try to resolder or even replace the entire part. All right, so just like we did it from this, is, this assembly, we're gonna snap it into place. So I hope this video was, <clears throat> so I hope this video was somewhere helpful. If not, you know, click dislike. If you liked it a little bit, click like, subscribe, and I'll try to get more repairs done. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.